In today's video, I have a very mysterious Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery box. What's up guys, we're back with another mystery box opening and yet again, I have no idea what is inside. This thing is unknown, it's foreign, it's mysterious. And the center of this box is someone we know well, Lars. If you've missed Lars' other mystery box videos, go check them out on the screen. They were insane. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open and figure out what's inside. I'm assuming there might be some sort of note or something. I'm just going to open this up and find out. I don't see a note in here, but Lars did give us a giveaway, a Lost Art Elemental Hero Burst into Tricks. All you have to do to win that, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite item in here. There's a lot of great stuff coming up. All right, first off, we have a Tactical Evolution. Labyrinth and Nightmare combo here, which apparently used to be $11 at Toys R Us. RIP, I wish it was still that much. This is a really nice item. Contains the very weird packs. We're destroying the item as we speak, but there's some cool stuff inside. The special edition is what they, I think they call it a special edition somewhere. Yeah, right there. Special edition, old school type. Okay, I dismantled that as best I could. It's so hard to get these promos out without bending them. It's a little bent already, it seems. So yeah, okay. That, just not a very good storage for the promo cards, unfortunately. Don't worry, we have some really nice stuff here. Let's see what we can get out of Tactical Evolution. We did pull him a ghost out of one of these packs before. That was pretty amazing. So if you guys didn't see that one, go check it out. Uh, the only card right side up is right there. Very weird. So let's do it like that. Crystal's Penny. We have Strike Slash. This is going to be a longer bit. Video. sit back relax grab your popcorn enjoy the long video thank Lars for the amazing mystery box good content here we have crystals chicky counter counter and double summon pretty good rare but obviously just a rare we're looking for better than that next up labyrinth of nightmare i actually do have something i want to show you guys so i always talk about how like you get the weird slimy cards with the train tracks on them well i actually have a couple of cards here we have damaged and heavily played but these are out of the tactical evolution and let's see, there's one of the train tracks. It's only a partial train track, but sometimes they'll go all the way down on two different spots like train tracks. So this is a ultimate rare from there. And then there's a LON, so it was Tactical Evolution. This is a LON, same thing. This one's a little bit more beat up, but as you can see, train tracks going right down the middle. And that is not just because this card's really beat up. That is because they used to come out like that straight from the printing. They would look like that. It was pretty crazy. So Gemini Elf print, of this weird 2007 slimy print that I always talk about. So I just wanted to show you guys that because I had that. Now let's see if we can pull one here. That'd be pretty cool if we pulled one right afterwards and it had the train tracks, which I don't know if Lars would, because like personally, if it was me, I would kind of want the train tracks just because they're so unique. They're not unique to this like specific print, but they are unique compared to, you know, most other Yu-Gi-Oh prints. The quality control is terrible, but then, you know, the card's not near men or anything. We have Rock Spirit. We have Flame Dancer with his Burning Rope, Fire Sorcerer, Bio Mage, Offerings to the Dune. We have Melkin. Look at the edge wear on some of these. Ghost, gross ghost, not ghost. Boneheimer and Jowgin the Spiritualist. Okay, no luck on train tracks today. Tactical Evolution, one more chance before we move on to our second item in the mystery box, which by the way, there are a lot more items, a lot more. <laughs> more where this came from, not necessarily Tactical Evolution though. We have one, two, three, four, upside down. The only card Check out the back. It looks like there is some, some nastiness going on there. Okay, we have Chrysalis Penny, Strike Slash. We have the Goggle Golem Cocoon, Rebirth, Chrysalis Larva, Burn, Venom Serpent, Volcanic Rat, and we have Fossil Tusker. We go 0 for 3 on that blister. That's okay. A lot more coming for Lars right now. And speaking of weird blisters, we have Force of the Breaker Special Edition. Check this thing out. Beautiful. Look, it has it has hair. It's like it's like when you put the Yugi hair on there. They put the Rux and hair on there. Rux and hair on the special. Okay, I gotta stop. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. We gotta stop that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Force of the Breaker has Invasion of Chaos involved. So pretty cool. I'm gonna try to get this promo out as good as we can without bending it even more than it already is. I think we did pretty good there. So rip that open. Get these packs out. Force of the Breaker has some pretty cool ultis inside. As well as secrets. Yeah, as you can see, there's already like a dent there. Phantom Beast Rock Lizard. Not the craziest promo, but doesn't mean we don't want to preserve it as much as possible. Okay, I mean, there are, there are only foils we're getting right now. Everything else is going to be rares, or at least it's been rares. So hopefully we can turn that around. 
for FOTB Force of the Breaker. I believe you can do that. We have a little, let's get a secret rare deck, devast uh, deck devastation virus. Wait, that's Flame Eternity. I'm, I mean, Eradicator Epidemic Virus. There we go. Over other, other world, the A Zone, Volcanic Recharge, Crystal Beast, Ruby Carbuncle. We have Crystal Promise, Mass Hypnosis, Maiku, Master of Barriers, Crystal Blessing. Hard selling zombie and a destroyer Saurus. All right. Comes an ulti in this. We recently bought an ultimate rare collection, which I'm not sure if you guys have seen that yet. Had some destroyer sources in it. It was pretty cool. I'm going to save IFC just because it'll be fun. FOTB, can you give us our first foil of the day? Because so far we are foilless without foils. Volcanic Blast. We got Tornado. Introduction to Gallantry. Seismic Crap. What in the world is that? What happened to this card? That is some crazy, like, print, just gunk. Ew. Okay, Wildfire. At least that was just a, a common. Papa Roach. There we go. We have Crystal Beast, Amber Mammoth, Crystal Abundance, and we have a Rise of Ultimate Rare. Destroyer Saurus again. <laughs> Two in a row. We are 0 for 5 to start this mystery box. Not a great start, but we do have Invasion of Chaos right here. A little bit of the 2007 print. Pretty cool. I think these came out. The blisters came out in 2007. Could have been 2008, but I'm pretty sure it was 2007. I know Force of the Breaker came out in 2007, but this is an unlimited version, so it could have been later. Amphibious Bogroth. Ryu Koki. Pretty nice card. Gale Lazard. We have DD Borderline. Ruxin Special. Molten Zombie. Soul Tigre. Primal Seed. Grimaju de Isa and Stray Lamps. All right, not a bad start. We do have, well, okay. I said not a bad start. We're 0 for 6. It was a bad start, but there's still hope. In the next generation, Yu Gi Oh! GX, generation next. We have three different sets here Cybernetic Revolution, Elemental Energy, and Shadow of Infinity, and then the Whitehorn Dragon. So there is hope of brewing. There's hope of brewing, everyone. You gotta believe. You can't just give up because you're 0 for 6. Guess what? You just gotta keep going for it. Gotta keep taking your shots. All right, that one looks like it might actually not be in horrible condition. It does have a little, little dent in it right there. Okay, Whitehorn Dragon. Okay, our third one. Not bad. Three packs. Let's do a little Shadow of Infinity. Let's see what we can do here. Can we get our first fall? These feel a lot newer for some reason. Even though I think these came out maybe the same year. Could have been the year before. Tinkabee Doshian. I know the sets did. 05 and 06 on those sets. Silent Insect we have at Death Frog. Photon Generator Unit. Malice Ascendant. And there it is. The classic Divine Dragon Excelion. Not a Sacred Beast. I didn't even mention them. I was hoping that they would show up by not mentioning them. This is the only foil we can pull out of Shadow Infinity. It's always a super rare one of these or ulti. It's just one of them every time. Elemental Energy. Wouldn't mind to pull a great card out of here, Elemental Energy. I'm not going to say any names because I don't want to jinx anything. I just believe that you're going to give us something good for Lars. W Wing, Dark Deal, Oja Magic, Infernal Incinerator, Zer, Night of Dark World, Roll Out, Hydragon. We have Featherwind and a, whoa, a super miscut hero barrier. Hello, you are a rare and you are miscut. Very interesting. One for eight, but don't worry. Two for nine with an ultimate rare cyber in, which I don't even know if you can get out of these blisters. That would feel fine. I would feel fine with that. One, two, three, four. I'm sure Lars would settle for that. Giant Kazaki, come on. Arrival appears. These are a little warped, if you can tell. We have a fusion recovery. Gyroid. Ruxin special. Jerry Beans, man. Oh, Jerry. A bean soldier believes he is the strongest warrior in the world, but his true abilities are still untested. We are testing you right now, Jerry. Pot of generosity from the pod collection. Very nice. Steam gyroid and dimension wall. One for nine. This is a tough start. But don't worry, guys. Blisters, we got more. Special edition, Strike of Neos. Blister Central out here. We have Strike of Neos. We're going to get the forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card, which we have pulled. We pulled one. Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card has been pulled on the jam. Okay, I've done it. It's happened, but guess what? Not an ultimate rare. So let's just throw that out there. You know, that could be a different level of success in terms of pulling something good. Okay, let's, uh, what in the world? Oh man, these are destroyed. Wow. Okay, these did even worse. Like the way they packaged these was even somehow beat the other ones in terms of badness. So there's shrink. That one is absolutely mauled. <laughs> 
Wow, that's a nice promo. Okay, very nice. This one's looking good. Yep, very clean. PSA 10 Cyber and Dragon right there. Not the most beautiful. Let's just do the element or the Enemy of Justice first because there are some good cards in here, but Strike and Neos, you know, that's the big one. Enemy of Justice. I believe in you. You're going to give us that card. You know, Shining Phoenix Enforcer Ultimate Rare that we never pulled. We have Bountiful Artemis. Here it comes. Misfortune. Searchlight Man. Destiny Hero Doom Lord. D Shield. Swift Birdman Joe. Cyber Kieran. Dimensional Fissure. Ah, super electromagnetic, super electromagnetic Voltec Dragon. That's what I'm trying to say. It's electromagnetic, and we've pulled it many, many times. It's just a super. Yeah, the supers in GX sets, you, you pull them a lot because there's only a few of them, and you keep pulling the same ones, at least in those uh, Ultimate or only sets. Here, it's a little different because there's secrets and stuff like that. Striking Eos is hard. I don't even really can. It's GX, but it's completely different. Let's see. Strike of Neos. You know what we want out of here. I mean, there's a lot of options. I mean, if it's a retail pack, you get DD Crow Ultimate Rare. Never pulled that either. Puppet Plant. Got the Glow Moss. Come on. Anti Fusion Device. Chucha Lane. Ruxin Special. Change of Hero. Zanji. Kaki. Ritual Ceiling. Oh, an Ultimate Rare Twister. All right. I thought we had one more card. Ultimate Rare has been pulled. That is a retail pull. Wait. Shrek and Neos have Hobby Retail? I think it does. I think Force of the Breaker is the one that doesn't. That is amazing. Ultimate Rare. Not first ed, but Ultimate Rare twister could have been well i don't even know if it could have been but it might could have been the forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card but we'll take the twister as well all right that's a nice pull for the mystery box it's been pretty rough pulls so far but it's nice to get an ultimate rare and really help that out that can really make you feel a little better about it let's see if we can get lars something crazy here one two three four six samurai a cell puppet plant a neospatian glow moss we got yaichi Firestorm Prominence, Legendary Ebon Steed, Shien's Foot Soldier, and we have a Gene Warped Warwolf. Okay, we are getting foils here at least. Two in a row on Strike of Neos, Gene Warped Warwolf. That's a 2000 attack four star. Back in the day, I would have been like, wow, that is an insane card. But, you know, it's in Strike of Neos, so it's a little bit late. All right, Blister Packs. We have more special editions. We have the GX special edition, which is too tall. You can only see part of it at once. You guys can see a little bit too tall. So I will remove this in the misprint Elemental Hero Wild Heart. All right, we have the packs out. We have the misprint Elements of Wild Heart, which does seem to actually be in good condition, which is nice. And the reason it's a misprint is it's supposed to be secret, but it's not. It's just an ultra looking card with the secret name. Uh, they're all like that, though. So nothing too insane. Let's start off with the Lost Millennium. Speaking of Lost, we seem to have lost our good pulls. So let's see if we can find them in the Lost Millennium. Here we go. One, two, three, four. We have Grave Lure. Impenetrable Formation, Win the Windchammer. We have Medusa, Aria, Burst Inatrix, Death Wombat, Minefield Eruption, and a Nitro Unit Rare. Two more packs. Elemental Energy, we've seen you today. I don't think you gave us anything. Can you give us something big here this time? Some cool cards in here. You can just bless us with one of them. Here we go. One, two, three, four. We have Zur, Knight of Dark World. Roll out. Hydragon. Why am I saying Hydragon instead of Hydragedon? I would keep saying that. Featherwind. We have Area. VW Tiger Catapult. The Forces of Darkness. Non-Fusion Area. And we have Rapid Fire Magician. One that I have pulled an ulti of a long time ago. It was like four or five years ago. So it's been quite a while. Cybernetic Revolution, though. It's been uh, not that long, actually, since we pulled an ulti Cyber Dragon. Quite a lot less, actually, since we've done that. We've done that how many times now? Like twice? been pretty nice we've had a hot streak of those one two three four let's see if we can continue that right now we have pot of generosity from the pie collection rocks and special dragons beer we have jerry beans man the man who is being tested right now we have corinne soul desk coking we have the hound doitsu and we have magical explosion another off-centered rare but okay another kind of a dud special edition there all right now we have one that's very hard to open it's in the old school plastic that we all remember from our childhood where you just chop off your finger if you try to like just rip it open it's very dangerous so i'm gonna cut this open with scissors all right i think this will work there is like a booklet thing in here that i was trying not to cut but i may have cut it a little bit or maybe that was just the front part let's see it's kind of hard to get out of here so i'm gonna try to get this out okay it looks like that worked pretty well very nice good job ruxin everybody give me some claps in the chat or in the comments i should say okay we have a little ultimate begin or ultimate dueling guide beginner's guide's a different thing uh that's pretty cool how does it tell us how to duel i might need to use this 
Dueling history. Cool. You can see all the decks. Look at this. Dueling history, table of contents, power up themes, dark revelation three checklist. Interesting. Yeah, because we we're going to open that. Oh, looks like there's some pretty cool stuff in here. I might have to uh, hang on on this. This is pretty sweet. No, I'm just kidding. I'll send that back to Lars. Very cool. I don't know if he wants that or not, but either way, it's pretty cool. OK, dark revelation glue off of here. Very old glue. It kind of feels like silly putty now. We have our promo, which I'm going to try to be careful and get off without damaging i think i can do it there we go this yeah this glue is coming off easier than the previous times i've opened this yeah a little bit of a mark there that's still yeah, not terrible that's a really cool promo dragon master knight and the the kind of the shame of this product is it only comes with two packs it feels a little bit lacking though they are bigger you know they have extra cards inside dark revelation volume three can you give us something crazy like the cover card the creator or a Horus, something like that. All right, uh, no pack trick here, because I don't know what it is. We have Win the Wind Charmer, Monk Fighter, Element Dragon, Goblin Calligrapher, Death Wombat. Oh, an ultra rare, perfect Machine King. Okay, let's just get right to it. Let's leave that guy up. Whoa, that's probably one of the better pulls. That looks amazing, an ultra rare, because there's nothing above ultras in here, I don't think. No secrets or anything. Heavy Slump, Beast Soul Swap. Really good card, Re okay. Dark Revelation showing up, giving us something good. Let's see if we can go two for two. Is that a Horus level eight back there? Can you get a Horus out of here? I don't remember that. I bet it's not level eight. I bet they give you like level six or something or level four. But I'd love to be proven wrong. Let's see. We have Invasion of Flames. Money go. Red Eyes B Chick. White Ninja. Asa. Elemental Hero Avian. Nitro Unit. Okay, so just a rare. Only one single oh no there we go so it is in the middle yeah one single spell card here interesting those dark revelation were pretty good funny enough we have another judgment of the light deluxe edition which i just opened recently out of a different box that somebody sent me that's funny that i guess you know chicken lattes kind of are my thing but it's still kind of funny that this is a pretty random product for two different people to send me pretty good product though i do like it so let's open it up see if we can get a ghost rare out of here let's open this up we have our packs of course and then you get your little sleeves you get your promo oh there's another pack that i missed another pack they're just sliding through the cracks and of course our beginner's guide is, is he trying to say something is he sending me a bunch of stuff that a bunch of guides saying that i need help or something like a beginner i'm not a beginner i know how to duel i'm a pro at dueling okay obviously so yeah i don't need that stuff all right let's see what we got here we've got nine packs let's see what we can get out of this deluxe edition judgment of the light this is a uh, this is good stuff we got here so far. I want that is a destroyed back card. It's crazy. Can we get a Chicolates? Last time we opened this, no Chicolates, which was pretty horrible. Spell Recycle, Vein Betrayer, Sword, Kujikachiku. We have Landing. We have the big, scary, and Archfiend guy. And I thought that was a ghost rare for a second. Number 66, Master Key Beetle. Pretty nice card. It's a hollow. Not guaranteed. I'm happy about that. Let's see if the next pack can do as well or better. One, two, three. How about a Ghost Rare? How about a Star Eater Ulti? Something big. Super Defense Robot. We got a Chickalate's potential in here. Calibrator. Gucci Gajiku. We have the Torbuth Forbidden Realm. And a Susanoa. All these look like Ghost Rares for some reason. Ultra Rare Susanoa. Always makes an appearance in our videos opening in Judgment of the Light. It's crazy. That thing loves to appear. At least it wasn't an Ulti, okay? We wanted to save our Ulti for something good. Sorry, Susanoa. Super Defense. We have Umbra Horror. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Super Defense Robot, Single Purchase, Mech Phantom Beast, Colt Wing, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Kieran, and Umbral Horror, Will O the Wisp, Will of the Wisp. Finally, we did not pull a hollow. Not that I didn't want to, but we were two for two. Intercept Tomato. Man, there's so many classic commons in here. Spell Recycler, not one of them. Googly Eyes Drum Dragon, that's, that's one of them. That's pretty good. Intercept Tomato, obviously great. Wolf, Zara Ort, we have Xyz Agent. Bujingi Crane and a Madolce! Chicolate, chicka chicolate. It's been so long since we've had a chicolate opened up on the channel. Been very, very long, actually. So we got five packs left. We got a chicolate this time, so I can rest easy knowing that this was a successful opening. Oh, I did I did four. Wait, there we go. I fixed it. We have Drum Dragon, Bujingi, Armageddon, Glasses, Intercept Tomato, The Atmosphere, XC's Agent, Underworld Fighting, Balmung. And a Bujingi Turtle, we're slowing down. We were two for two. Technically, we got a Chicolate, so I mean, we're doing pretty good. Let's see how good we can do, though. Junk Blader, come on. XC's Reception, let's get something good for Lars. Atmosphere, Agent, Kujikaji, Kujikaji, Kujikaji. We got Cold Wing, we got the Warble Burger, and the Mega Phantom Beast. Conkorad, Conkorada, Conkorada, Conkoruda. What? What is this? 
That like neck and face look familiar. I'm not sure. I feel like that's on a different card. Like the, the Croco Dragon, you know, it's, it's kind of like a, it's like two year old card or something. I think it came out in Eternity Code maybe. It looks like that. One, two, three. I wonder if it's similar or like related. We have Robot Leo, we have Sage, Monkey, Uniform, we have Archer, we got Battlefield. Battlefield, Battlefield, Battlefield. Why is Yu-Gi-Oh always a Battlefield? All right, two packs left. Can we get something else like another Chicolate? So that'd be big. Benzing Fire Ferret, we have Black and White Wave, Ghoul, Bajin Fidel, Elephant, Flying Sea, Star Seraph Sword, Archfiend Cavalry, and XC's Revenge Shuffle. Judgment of the Light. Last pack of Judgment of the Light. We have a couple things left after this as well, so we're not even close to done. I mean, we're pretty close, but not that close. Shuffle, we got Bujin War, we got Bujin Fidel, Calibrator, Gucci Gaji, Gucci Gaji, Goo, Elephant, we got Mermelio, and Spell Recycler. We started two for two and then went over seven after that. But we got a Chica Latte, so that counts for one. All right, we got three more items. In here we have what appears to be some loose packs, and it looks like it's first edition Power of the Duelist. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's see if we can get something. Just... Oh. 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 All right, our last items are two X Saber power ups. You guys know, you know, the Yu Gi Mo special. These can have first edition packs in them that have contained Ghost Rares. So, yeah, obviously that's what we want. We're gonna open up one at a time. Lars has had a pretty good opening. Uh, yeah, we had a little teaser for another video. Uh, he had those Power of the Duelist packs that I kind of showed you guys, but I don't want to spoil what was inside because we're making that into its own video because of the craziness of what happened. So we're gonna have another separate Lars video. Shout out to Lars for the supporting with the content. Let's see if we can get him something crazy here. And these will be pretty awesome. So we have the X Saber Fulham Knight, super, another promo, really cool. Here we go, we have two. Let's actually, let's do it one at a time because these can be first added, so can the Stardust Overdrive. So we're gonna do the Ancient Prophecy first. Let's see if we can get that Ghost Rare. Ancient Fairy Dragon. Three from the back. We have Kwaki Miru Boulder, Slip of Fortune, Dark Sea Float, Water Hazard, Ancient Leaf, Armored Axon Kicker. Oh, a secret! White Knight Dragon! Okay, I did the wrong pack trick. Kwaki Miru and Psychic Emmer. Secret rare White Knight Dragon. This is one of the best looking secrets. Look at this thing. I love how this looks. It looks so good. I feel like it should be named like Ice Dragon or something, not White Knight Dragon. It looks like an ice, like an icy card. Wow, a secret. This has been quite the opening, Lars. Okay, reveal here. Oh, first edition Stardust Overdrive. Oh, baby. We're getting serious now. That could be a really expensive. If that's a first edition Ghost Rare, card's insane. I think it's like 750 bucks. So that could, that's potentially in there. One, two, three. Okay, so the pack trick last time was this. Ghost Rare Ancient Fairy incoming. We have Dark Sea Float. Slip of Fortune. We have Scary Moth. Water Hazard. Leaf. Axon Kicker. Release your state wave. We have Dark Sea Rescue. And a Jetster Confit, which is actually a few dollars. Things like four or five bucks. That's a great super. All right. Well done. Okay. First edition. All right. You know what? We're going to do the Hidden Arsenal first. Let's do the Hidden Arsenal. We should probably have started with that one. Uh, could get, uh, what? Which one is this? Brianac? Yeah, Brianac on the front. Oh, there it is. Right there. I forgot. It's at the very front. Miss Valley Shaman. So no... Reenact. We got Worm, we got X Saber, and Worm Dinkles. Now for the big boy. Potential $750 Ghost Rare. I do not have this one in my binder at the moment, personally, because it's so expensive. I've just been like, I don't know if I can pay for that right now. Okay. I don't know where it would be. It could either be here or here. So I'm just going to do that. So it'll either be second to last or last card. Quarky Mirror Sea Panther. Let's go. Slip Summon. Ritual Buster. Molting Escape, Time Passage, Time Passage, Ground Spider, Earthbound Revival. Okay, so I think it'll be the next one. Let's see. Oh, an Arch Lord Christia First Edition! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! That is one of our biggest pulls ever! Oh my gosh, this might be bigger than the Ghost Rare. This card is insane in its first edition. Oh, Lars. Oh, Lars, I thought the power of the duelist was good. Oh my gosh. 
That is nuts. That is definitely going on the the top 25 pulls of the year. This is barely going to be before the end of the year. That's one of our best pulls on the channel ever. This man has the best luck ever. He pulls four ghost rares out of the box he doesn't send me. We pull insane out of the ones he does send me. And then he sends another one with a Christia in it. Out of one pack. One pack. Whoa. Okay, one more. What well, we got to check on this. Last I checked is like a thousand dollar card. They of course made the QCR since then, so it might have it might have hurt the price a little bit, but that is still one of the craziest pulls. That is amazing. Okay, what what like <laughs> what do we even do now? Like for I don't know how many minutes into this video, probably over 30 minutes. If you guys made it to this part, yeah, you you didn't want to miss it. So uh wow, I'm sure I'll have some big thing like don't miss this opening or something in the title because wow that is insane whoa Lars congrats my guy that is amazing oh my goodness that's so ridiculous that is one of the most expensive rock cards I've ever pulled that is absolutely insane okay uh let's see if we can get our x saber full of night that is crazy that is absolutely crazy, dude. So another Fulham Knight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Cool. Let's get our Hidden Arsenal out. I'm glad I didn't do, you know, I went Hidden Arsenal first. Okay. The secret's at the front. So let's do that. I, I got a little spoiler there, but let's do it like that. Okay. Just playing the card. Wow. I can't believe we just pulled that. Axel. Oh my kid. Miss Valley Thunderbird. This used to be money. For a while, it was like some sort of like, uh, isn't it like an Omni to gate or something? Oh no, it was it was like somehow used in, yeah, it was something weird. Okay, let's go one pack at a time, see what's first dead. Okay, not first dead this time. I was looking and I was like, oh man, it's not a ghost shirt. It's an effect monster. When I was like pulling the card and then slowly I realized, oh, this is as good as the ghost shirt, maybe even better. One, two, three. Wow. We know the pack trick, too. We know the pack trick. We have a uh, dark sea float. We have scary moth. Ooh, scary. We have more trotting. Sea hunt. I can't believe we just pulled that. That is it. We have not pulled a card like that in quite a while. Magic cat, fossil dig. That is nutty. Nutty. Okay. Unlimited. I'm hoping for another Stardust Overdrive, but if we get like the Ghost Share in one opening, I don't know if I'll survive. I might not make it. <laughs> I might not make it. It'll be too crazy. Okay. Quacky Mirror Boulder. We have Imperial Custom. Mistral. Fossil Dig. We have Crimson Ape. I would still take the Unlimited Ghost right here for uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon. Scary Moth. Quacky Mirror Tornado. And Discord! Shout out to the Discord. Go check out my Discord in the description. You guys can go join there. You guys want to see all kinds of cool stuff there. You know, have a cool little Ruxin community. There's some people in there. I think we're over 1,600 members, which is pretty exciting. So go hop in there. Shout out to the Discord. <laughs> there we go. Very nice. And finally, the last pack of Lars Mystery Box, which has been insane. It is first edition yet again. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I cannot believe we just pulled that. That is going to be... One of our best pulls of the year, probably our number one pull. I'm trying to think, we've had well, we have had good pulls this year, but wow, that's gonna be hard to top. Okay, so it was the normal, not normal, but the kind of sketchy one like that. Okay, Dark Spider, Iron Core Armor, Infernity Necromancer, Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. We have Reptilian Viper, Infernity Force, Woodland Archer, Dark Rabbit. Okay, I don't have any expectations. Let's just see what we can get. Spider Spider. Okay, don't care. Don't care. Other one was totally worth it. All right, Lars, huge shout out to you. I'm sure you're going to be excited for this video. Also, guys, don't forget to subscribe and to thank Lars for some amazing content because we have this one and another video coming out in the future with some amazing pulls for Lars. So, wow, that was fun. Shout out to Tome Fosho, Daxter, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Leo Gwine, 62, Brad KK Beats, Ananda Taisho, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.